Okay. All right. So this is day 33. Um, more stoichiometry. It's going to get a little bit um, more confusing. Okay. So make sure that you finish day 32 and that you understood it. You check the answer key and you're in a good place moving forward. Okay. Because we're going to add an extra step on now. All right. Um, so let's try this one. Hydrogen sulfide gas, which smells like rotten eggs, burns in air to produce sulfur dioxide and water. Okay. How many moles of oxygen gas would be needed to completely burn eight moles of hydrogen sulfide? All right. Okay. So let's start out by balancing this. All right. So um, immediately I see there's two oxygens on this side and there's actually three on this side, which is a problem. Okay. So I'm going to try a two here because then that's going to even out my oxygens. All right. So that's going to be two uh, oxygens here, two here for a total of four. All right. Um, so that's at least going to be an even number. All right. But now what's happened is I've messed up the hydrogens here. So now I have, uh, four hydrogens total here. All right. So then I'm going to need to put a two over here. So then I'm going to have four hydrogens over here. Okay. But now that's given me two sulfurs. So I'll have to try a two right here so I can get two sulfurs. Okay. Now let's do the oxygen. This is usually the best one to do last in these kind of problems because it's kind of by itself, right? So you're not messing anything else up. So I'd save the oxygen or any single element for last always, all right? Uh, so now over here, I have four oxygens here plus another two, all right? Which is going to be a total of six, which means this is going to have to be a three, okay? So this is just going to be the recipe, not what we actually have. This is just kind of like the recipe, like remember with the sandwiches, all right? Okay, so now everything is the same as it was in the last practice. Okay, eight moles of hydrogen sulfide is what I'm starting with. Okay, so that's this. So before I'm going to have eight, all right, I'm going to use up those eight to end up with nothing, right? Because I want to completely use that reaction. I'm going to completely burn all of it, okay? Now, remember the change line is the important line because once I know I have eight moles of hydrogen sulfide, that has to continue all the way across this uh, row. I'm going to move this one over a little bit. All the way across this row for the change, okay? Because the whole entire reaction is going to be based on the fact that I had eight moles of hydrogen sulfide to start with, okay? All right, so since this is not even ratios, it's two, three, two, two, right? Everything's going to have to change up a little bit. So remember, I'm going to have to put now these ratios right here. Okay. All right. When you do the ratio, the bottom number is going to be the same as the given. So if you noticed on the answer key, I've been highlighting what's the given. Okay. So since this is the given, that means that, whoops, that means that this is the important number for the ratio. Okay. So that's going to go on the bottom every time. Okay, because really what I've done, right, I'll erase this afterwards, right, but I have, say, negative 8 moles of H2S, and I'm going to multiply, and I need to put H2S on the bottom, right, so that those will cancel out, all right, that's why the 2 has to go on the bottom, all right, then what you're going to do is you're going to take these ratios here and then move them down um, into here, sorry, these coefficients move them down into these ratios, Okay, so you're going to end up with a three here, a two here, and a two here. Okay, so this would be like saying now three moles of O2. Okay, those are going to cancel. And then I'm going to have negative eight times three halves, which is going to be negative 12. Okay, this one, uh, eight uh, times two over two is just going to be eight. And then eight times two over two is just going to be eight right? So the reason why is when I'm looking at this, right, this is two, this is three, which means I need more oxygens, two, two, right? So whatever amount I start with of the hydrogen sulfide, I'm going to make the same amount of product because those are all twos, okay? So do you see how I have here? Eight, 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 okay? All right, now back to the table. When you think about the reactants, remember, it's going to start with some amount, Okay, so if I want this to be a perfect reaction, I would need to start with 12 of these so that I'd end up with nothing, right? If it's going to be all completely perfect, okay? The products, I always start with nothing because it's a product. Nothing has happened yet in the reaction. Okay, so I start with nothing and I add 8 uh, here and then here I add 8, okay? 
All right, type of reaction. I'm thinking I should have probably looked at this first. Hmm. Um, I don't 100% know, but I'm going to go ahead and call this. I think this is still going to be a combustion reaction because it's still burning in air, okay? Even though it's not making carbon dioxide and water like the common ones we do, right? But I still think that, that this is going to count as combustion, although I might be proved wrong. Okay. Um, don't worry about like on a testing situation, I'll make sure it's super clear. Okay. All right. So let me erase this thing. Okay. All right. So then we're going to write the word equation, which is going to be eight moles of hydrogen sulfide. Okay. Remember, do you have to write the names, not the chemical formula here, right? This is a different kind of way to write it. Uh, combine with 12 moles of oxygen, okay, to form eight moles of uh, sulfur dioxide. Remember, I gave you that name because if it's one that's not common, I'll give it to you. And eight moles of water, okay? So that's your word equation. So make sure what I've noticed in looking at some of them is you need to make sure that you put the amounts Okay, some people are forgetting the amounts and you need to make sure that you name it and you name it correctly. Okay, that's kind of what the problem has been on those. Okay, all right, now, this is the next step now, all right? So if you remember the little bit of lab work we did get to do on this, we can't measure moles directly. We have to measure mass, right? So we're gonna have to use that molar mass, grams to moles, to put this into a form that we could use, okay? so. It might ask something like, what mass of oxygen was needed to complete this reaction, okay? So if you look back here at the BCA table, we can see that we needed 12 moles of oxygen, okay? But I don't want that, I wanna know the mass, okay? So I'm gonna put one mole of oxygen on the bottom, all right, and then I'm gonna use the molar mass of oxygen, okay? So if it's O2, Okay, remember that's two oxygens, each is worth 16, so that's going to be 32 grams per mole. So 32 grams of oxygens go on, go on the top, and then the one mole goes on the bottom. Okay, so 12 times 32, is that something I should be able to do in my head? I don't know, 384, 384 grams of oxygen. <coughs> okay, All right, okay, and then what mass of sulfur dioxide was produced? Okay, so if we look at your BCA chart, we see that we had eight moles of sulfur dioxide. Okay, now we need to know the molar mass of sulfur dioxide, right? So you can kind of look it up, right? Which, you know, is kind of okay, I guess, but make sure that you can do it, okay? So sulfur is, if you look on the periodic table, 32.06, and there's only one of those, and there's two oxygens at 16 each, so that's gonna be 32. So 64.06 grams per mole. Does that make sense? Two times 16, yeah, okay. All right, so remember I'm gonna put uh, grams on the top because that's what I want. And then per one mole on the bottom, okay? And I wanna see this calculation. So you're gonna have to type it out with the equation editor, okay? Or you're gonna have to handwrite it and take a picture. Whatever you wanna do is fine. I do not care whatever makes sense for you, okay? What I did was I used the equation editor and then I just copied and pasted it and then kind of changed it each time, which is a little easier, okay? And please don't just copy the answer key of mine, okay? Just type it yourself, all right? Don't be lazy. All right, that's gonna cancel out. So then I'm gonna have 64.06 times eight is 512.48 grams of sulfur dioxide, okay? All right, so that's it. So basically what you're doing, oops, is you are um, doing the same problem, but then one thing that can happen is at the end, I might ask you to find the mass and then you just do the molar mass conversion, okay? Which you should already know how to do, okay? All right, I'll put the other one in the next video.